What have you been doing today? Nothing. How was school? Oh, it was okay. What did you learn? Nothing. These are sort of dialogues you might have heard if you've got some children or perhaps grandchildren. I remember perhaps giving similar responses to my parents at different times. How was school? What did you learn? Nothing. Sometimes when there were arguments in my house, my parents might ask, what are you arguing about? And the response often was, nothing. We knew very well as, as children, teenagers, that we weren't meant to argue, we weren't, we weren't meant to fight. And all we needed, perhaps, was my mum or dad to sort of ask, what are you up to? And the response has often been, nothing. It's the way sometimes teenagers act, sometimes children as well, when they know they're perhaps doing the wrong thing. And this is what we have the apostles doing in the gospel. They've been arguing without, with, between each other, who's going to be the best, who's going to be the greatest, who's going to have the, the seat of honour next to Jesus, perhaps in his kingdom. They knew they were doing the wrong thing. Jesus then asks them, and we're told by Mark that they said nothing. That was their response, nothing. Almost like they were become little children. Jesus asks us to welcome little children. But there are elements of being a little child which I don't think is what Jesus is wanting us to do. He doesn't want us to be little children like teenagers who respond with nothing all the time. That's not what I think Jesus is getting about. James, in our second reading today, talks about how we're called to pray. But sometimes we don't get what we pray for. Because sometimes people use prayer a little bit like they use Santa. What do we want for Christmas? I want a dog, I want a new car, or whatever, whatever it is. Just indulging our own desires. And that's not what prayer is. And that's not what being a Christian is. It's not just getting what we want. And sometimes little kids, when they don't get what they want, sometimes they yell, they scream, until they get what they want. And that's not what Jesus is wanting us to do either. Becoming like little children and welcoming little children is not to be encouraging indulgence. It's not to be encouraging nothingness. It's, been, it's to be encouraging a few things. And I'm going to talk about this now. The qualities of a child, especially a very little child, is a quality we should have. The first quality I think about with a little child, especially like a little baby, is that they're vulnerable. They need others. They need the help and the support of others, their parents, the community, to keep them safe, to nurture them, to help them to grow. And that openness to others is a spirit that we should have as adults, we should have as human beings, a desire to allow others to help us, to be looking out for the support of others. That's what a little child does. They know the voice of their parents and they go to them for support and help. When they're afraid, they look for their parents. They reach out to them. And that's what we're meant to be with God, that we know God's voice, that we know that God is there to look after us, to protect us. And so firstly, becoming like a little child is to have an openness to the support of others. We can't do it all ourselves. Little children are not powerful. Even perhaps a little child who might go on to become a king is not all that powerful as a two or a three year old. Here we have the apostles arguing about who was going to be more powerful, who was gonna have more control. As little children, we just live life. We accept what's around us and we trust. And we should have that trusting spirit as well. To know that life's not just about the power that we can get, but it's about this openness, this trust, that we're part of something incredible. Little children often can have, a, have, a, have a, an awe, an ability to be able to believe in things. And that's the spirit that we should all have as well. Jesus asks the apostles 
what they're arguing about. They've said nothing. And then Jesus goes on to explain that if you want to be great, you need to become a servant. And that's a quality that some children have, some children not so, is a desire for service. And that's something that we're taught. Here we have Jesus teaching at length, even to adults, about the importance of service. And for children, that needs to be taught. And they see that through, through explanation, but they'll see that through witness. They will learn service because they see it in others. So let us today be inspired by little children, by their desire and openness to others, to the support of others, to their desire to believe, their ability to be able to trust. And let us do everything we can to not indulge ourselves and, and make life about our own power, but about true and faithful service. Prayer is a service. Sometimes we don't feel like it's a service, but prayer is a service. Prayer is the praise of God. It's more than just nice thoughts. It's the praise of God, the glory of God, and it allowing for God's kingdom to be present now. Let us be instruments of God in our world. Let us think about the things of God. Let us give praise to God's kingdom and do what we can as his servants, as his little children, to help bring about God's kingdom here on earth.